Hi, it's Evan from WCCF Tech and we're covering some exciting news about Intel's flagship Arc Alchemist GPU. The graphics card was actually spotted within the Geekbench database once again. This time, the chip seems to be an early sample as it runs at lower clocks than the maximum frequency, which is listed within the same benchmark. The Intel Arc Alchemist graphics card can easily be identified by its 512 executable units. The specific variant is mentioned to feature a maximum boost clock of 2.1 GHz, but can be seen operating at a much lower 1.33 GHz with adjacent data listed in Geekbench. As such, the GPU is running at 63% of its maximum performance potential, says video cards. It is likely that the variant is an early sample and still needs to be sorted out before we can see its full performance. This particular Arc Alchemist graphics card sample was also tested on an older Core i5-9600K test platform. The performance itself isn't something to be excited about, as the OpenCL scored was roughly about the same as the GeForce RTX 2060. Once again, the XCHPG powered graphics card isn't ready and not in its final state, so the performance numbers here are pretty much useless for comparison against any modern day graphics card. The top Alchemist 512 EU variant is just one configuration listed so far that utilizes the full die with 4096 cores, a 256 bit bus interface. The Alchemist 512 EU chip is expected to be bigger than the AMD RDNA 2 and NVIDIA's Ampere offerings. NVIDIA packs in tensor cores and much bigger RT cores in its chips, while AMD's RDNA 2 chips pack a single ray accelerator unit per CU and its Infinity cache. Intel will also have dedicated hardware on board its Alchemist GPUs for ray tracing and AI assisted super sampling technology. The XEHPG Alchemist 512 EU chip is suggested to feature clocks of around 2.2 to 2.5 GHz, though we don't know if these are the average clocks or the maximum boost clocks. Let's assume that it's the max clock speed, and in that case the card would deliver up to 18.5 teraflops compute performance, which is 40% more than the RX 6700 XT, but 9% lower than the NVIDIA RTX 3070. Also, it is stated that Intel's initial TDP target was 225 going all the way up to 250, but that's actually been up to around 275 now. We can expect a 300 watt variant with dual 8 pin connectors too if Intel wants to push the clocks even further. In either case, we're expecting the final model to rock a 8 plus 6 pin connector configuration. The reference model is also going to look very much like the drone marketing shot Intel put out during the Arc branding reveal. That reference design was leaked a while back by Moore's Law is Dead 2. There's also talks about a custom lineup being worked on by Intel's manufacturing partners. The Intel Arc Alchemist GPUs are expected to launch in quarter one of 2022, with desktop variants now rumored for a quarter two of 2022 launch. Expect Intel to share more details on Arc Alchemist GPUs and their next gen Alder Lake M slash P laptop CPUs lineup at CES 2022. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.